Hi, Tim. What's in the box? Oh, uh, the last of my things from Maggie's house. You know, it was hard breaking up with her, but it was the right thing to do. I need to be free. I'm a bird. I need to fly. Hey, bird brain. <laughs> You're living with your parents. I said I needed to fly. I didn't say I knew how. Uh, Mom, have you seen my Lucky Flyers t-shirt? You mean the one that Maggie always wore to bed? How do you know she wore it to bed? Is it so wrong that a mother would want to watch her son sleep? <laughs> you spied on us? Dad, did you know anything about this? Yeah, I thought it was strange at first, too, but I, I must say there is something oddly captivating about you while you're sleeping. <laughs> well, maybe Maggie knows where my T-shirt is. You know, she told me never to call her again, but I only spent eight months with Maggie. I spent eight years with that T-shirt. I'll bet she ripped that thing to shreds before she left. No, I watched her. She just made a few phone calls, cried a little, then drove away. Pathetic. Okay, I'm out of here. What, you're not staying for dinner? No, I can't. I'm meeting someone tonight. Who? Oh, sorry, Mom. Can't talk about it. You can't leave. Where are you going? Who are you meeting? Hey, you've got to give us something. Don't worry, Mom. It's good. In fact, it could be the biggest thing that's ever happened to me. Hasta la pasta. So how are we going to get it out of her? Hasta la pasta. Why can't she say goodbye like a normal person? Come on. Peter, aren't you curious? Don't you want to know what's going on? Well, do we ever find out anything good about our kids? Just let her be. Day after day, I sit here listening to every boring detail of her life, feigning interest, fighting sleep. And now she's seeing someone? She owes me this. Well, I'm glad she's not telling us about this guy. It shows some independence. There must be something wrong with him. Do you think it's emotional or physical? It's none of our business. I hope it's emotional. I have trouble looking away. <laughs> Hey, Alex, I'm out of here. Where are you going? Flyers game. Oh, I don't want Mrs. Rollins to think I'm skipping out on her, so wait 10 minutes and tell her I'm with another patient. Then wait another 10 minutes and tell her she's free to go. <laughs> what are you staring at? That's my Flyers t-shirt. Oh, really? <laughs> Todd, just give me the shirt back. Or what, you gonna go run and tell Mom? No. She would just say we should talk out our feelings. Todd, when you take my things, makes me feel like you don't respect me as a person. <laughs> Fine. But I have to wear something. Give me your shirt. Okay. Todd, I really appreciate how understanding you're being about... Man, you are so skinny. You like that? <laughs> no. Just, how can you let him walk all over you like that? Pretty simple, really. Just stand there and stay quiet. The rest pretty much takes care of itself. Okay, this is ridiculous. You need to fight back. You saw me let him have it when I told him about my feelings. And that was great if you were seven and a girl and a guest on Oprah. <laughs> but you need to fight fire with fire. You need to go to his apartment and steal some of his stuff. Or uh, I could let him keep the flyer's shirt and just wait and see what he does. What, what does that plan do? Again, it helps me avoid conflict. Tim, it's, it's either you stand up to him now or he's going to keep pushing you around for the rest of your life. Which one of those options would make me seem more attractive? Standing up to him. Damn. So why did I have to drive? Because I need to be on lookout. I think you'd like to be chauffeured around. It's two errands and a stakeout. Don't get all worked up about this. I just think it's weird that we're following Sarah. Oh, please, I follow all of you. What? I only do it in extreme circumstances. And why is Sarah dating someone in extreme circumstance? Because he's most likely horribly deformed. Here she comes. Wait, wait, she's not getting in her car. Maybe she's getting a little neighbor action. Maybe they met at that newsstand. Maybe he works at that newsstand. Maybe he begs at that newsstand. <laughs> 
She's knocking on the door. I can't look. I can't look. What's wrong with him? What does this monster look like? I'd give her a seven and a half. <gasps> Sarah's dating a woman. Wow. Two chicks about to make it. Every man dreams of this, but that dream never includes your sister. <laughs> or your mom sitting next to you. What did you do? I followed Sarah tonight. Honey, listen, I, I think maybe you should go back to work or find some sort of hobby. I mean, you've got a, at least 30 more years to kill. I saw who she's dating, Peter. All right, what does it look like? A woman. Big deal, that's her type. No, a woman. She's dating a woman. Our daughter is gay. She's gay. 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 What are you thinking, Peter? Honestly? Yes. I think this is great. Me too. Why do you think it's great? What? She's with someone. Exactly. She's never with someone. And what she was, it was just so painful to watch. And now we know why. Because she's a lesbian. She's going to make a great lesbian. She is sweet. She's caring. I mean, you ladies, eat that stuff up. But she's going to be an example to other lesbians. She and I both like women. Finally, we have something in common. You know, gay is in. This instantly makes us a very hip couple. I'm very excited. Me too. Let's go tell her how happy we are. No, we shouldn't. No, we should give her time. I, she obviously doesn't think we're going to be comfortable with this. We just have to let her come out to us when she's ready. Okay, she has until tomorrow. And if she's not out by then, we're dragging her out of the closet. Did you get anything good out there? Oh, yeah. Todd's going to be very unhappy. I, is that mustard? Yep. Good luck making a sandwich, jerk. You know, this place isn't so bad. I thought your brother would have a heart-shaped bed with satin sheets. Maybe he's not such a cheese ball after all, huh? A water bed. Didn't even know you could still buy these. My God. And there I am. He calls that his rear-view mirror. <laughs> of course he does. Ooh, the Todd box. The what? The Todd box. He kept his most prized possessions in here when we were kids. We put this back where it belongs. I'm not allowed to touch this. <laughs> okay, Todd took something that was very important to you. Now, we found something that's really important to him, which is why we should... Get his permission. Take it. We should take it. But first, we should look inside. You know, if I didn't know any better, I'd say you're a little bit obsessed with my brother. Oh, I am not. I'm just interested. Like the woman in the jungle with the gorillas. <laughs> what? What's this? Oh, the lady. Todd used to love that photograph. Why would he keep a black-and-white photo of a naked woman's silhouette? Why do you think a 13-year-old boy would save a picture like that? I'll be putting this down. Well, this is a very competitive bid, Sarah. I think you're going to get the house. All we have to do tonight is go through the final walkthrough and then sign the paperwork. You are the best real estate agent ever. Oh. <laughs> you, you know, you really don't have to keep hugging me all the time. Gosh, between you and my mailman, you guys just hate affection. <laughs> Hello? Hi, honey. It's your mother. I'm here for a very special visit. <laughs> and I'm here with... I don't want to. Just do it. <laughs> your father. Just buzz this in. 
Please don't say anything. I just want to wait until everything's finalized. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm buying a house. <laughs> My very first house. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You don't have it yet. But it looks good. It does. What? Oh. <laughs> not bad. Oh. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. Hi, Sarah. Aren't you going to introduce us to your... Uh... Friend. She's my friend, Joanna. These are my parents. Oh. <laughs> well, you guys aren't shy with the hugs in this family, are you? No, we're very affectionate and open and... and understanding. And huge fans of the WNBA. <laughs> uh -huh. We don't care that they don't dunk. We appreciate the fundamentals. Yes. Go local team! Uh, you know what, Mom? We're kind of in the middle of something here. What if you and I talk hoops tomorrow night? Oh, I can't. Will and Grace is on. Oh, <laughs> we like their message. Gays and straights living together like a family. Like any family. Like our family. What the hell's going on here? Why are you two acting like morons? I'm sorry. We're, we're making a mess of this. We know. Know what? That you're gay. I'm not gay. It's okay. We're fine with it. I date boys. But you don't have to anymore. Stop it. I like boys. I am not gay. Well, then who is Joanna? She's my realtor. She's helping me buy a house. Great. Now we don't have anything in common again. What was all that with the, with, with the hugs and the flowers on the street yesterday? You followed me? Why is everybody so hung up over this? <laughs> I'm not the bad guy. I'm not the one keeping secrets. The only reason I kept the house a secret was because I didn't want you guys to get your hopes up if it fell through. Why would we get our hopes up, Sarah? Because of its location. Where is this house located, Sarah? Next door to you, I'm buying Maggie's house! Oh! Well, Sarah, I've got to get back to the office and fax this offer. Oh, uh, Joanna, let me show you out. That way we can set up a time for the walkthrough tonight. <laughs> Are you freaking out? I'm freaking out. I'll be right back, neighbors. So she's not gay. She's just buying the house next door. This is the sickest thing I have ever heard. <laughs> Where's all my stuff? I don't know what you're talking about. I came home last night, wanted to sit down, watch TV, make a sandwich. Oh, you, uh, you missing some things? I want my mustard back, you son of a bitch. Your fancy mustard's the least of it. Have you seen the Todd box? You took the Todd box? <laughs> That's right. I can't believe you're doing all this over a t-shirt. It's not just a t-shirt, Todd. This is about you walking all over me for years and years, and it stops today, Tuesday, February the 11th. <laughs> it's Friday, February 8th. <laughs> I'm not letting you walk all over me anymore. All right. So I guess you have me, Tim. Mm -hmm. Or do you? No, oh, hey. hey. Goodbye, sea monkeys. <laughs> Big deal. I got a whole nother packet of monkey powder. Oh, yeah? You got another lava lamp? As a matter of fact, I do. Okay, that was a mistake. I'm just getting started, too, Tim. You know what's better than one Flyers t-shirt? Two. Oh, you want to play? Okay, let's play. Hello, special lady. What? What's that? You're cold. Oh, well, maybe this will warm you up. Oh, no, you wouldn't. Oh, I would. <laughs> Go ahead and burn the picture. But if you do... Nothing of yours will ever be safe again. I will keep coming after you. I will be the Javert to your Jean Valjean. 
the Tom to your Jerry. <laughs> because I will not lose to you, Tim. So if you want to start the war, start the war. What's it going to be? Fine. You win. You'll always win. You're safe now, my lady. No. Oh, good, you're out of here. We have to talk. Sarah cannot buy this house. Mom! Dad, what are you doing here? Oh, boy, hey, I can't, uh... <laughs> neighbors stop by and say, hello! <laughs> this is so funny, you're stopping by my place. This isn't gonna become a habit, is it? Kidding! <laughs> uh, anyway, be right back. I'm gonna talk to the contractor about knocking down the fence between our yards. <laughs> You cannot sell Sarah this house. She's not independent enough. I represent the sellers. Sarah made the highest offer on the house. That's all I care about. Look, Joanna, be reasonable. This is important for Sarah. You understand? You're almost in a relationship with her. Do you guys like that tree in your yard? Because it's blocking my view into your living room. Think about it. We'll buy it. We'll give you 5000 more than she's offering. Peter, that's crazy. Don't talk to me about crazy. You follow the kids, you watch Tim sleep. To me, this is comparatively grounded. <laughs> Think time she's over here. The only time we have alone is during her commute. We need that commute, Annie. Don't take away the commute. Good news. The contractor is very optimistic about the multi-yard pool. Ah, the multi-yard pool. I'm in. <laughs> Sarah, I some bad news. I just got a call from another buyer. I'm afraid you've been outbid. Oh, Sarah, I am so sorry. Me too. Tough break, kid. How much was I outbid by? $5,000. Oh, that is chump change. Up it to 10. I'm gonna bury these suckers. <laughs> you got it. You know, uh, Sarah, I might be able to save us a few bucks by knocking down that fence myself. Let me, uh, let me go check it out. brave of you to want to move into this place. What with it being built on top of an Indian and a pet cemetery? Hello? Fine, very good. Well, this is an interesting turn of events. That was the other buyer. They just went 20,000 over. What? <gasps> good news about the fence. 25. I'm gonna double check it, though. Sarah, are you sure you're not getting it over your head? You're right. I'm gonna go talk to the contractor about scaling back. Hello? Right, 30. We'll go 30. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Grandma says hello. You were trying to outbid me? Could you leave us alone? Sarah, we were doing it for you. How can you say that? Because this would be a giant step backwards. And there's not much room back there, honey. You need to create some distance between yourself and us. We love you, Sarah. We want what's best for you. That is such a lie. Just say you don't want me living next door. Sarah, that's... Just that's... say it! We don't want you living next door. Wrong! You do want me living next door. You need me living next door. This guy may not want me there, but you desperately want me there. This guy has a name. Sarah, what are you talking about? Oh, please, Mom. You love the fact that I'm so dependent. I keep one tiny piece of information from you, and you completely fall apart. You stake out my place. You try to out me in front of my realtor. You love dealing with me. I am your job. I'm your hobby. And my moving in next door to you is the best thing that could have ever happened to you because you are going to get me 24-7. Doors open, trees down, and that's exactly what you want. And if this guy doesn't like it, he can just float in his half of the pool. Oh, I'm dying to know where she's going. She isn't going anywhere, Annie. She's never going anywhere. Hey. Hey. Look, my... I know you're all bummed out about this, but you shouldn't be, okay? I'm your big brother. If I had a big brother, he'd push me around too. I'm supposed to come out on top, 
and you're supposed to lose. It's just the natural order of things, okay? But hey, man, thank you for sparing her. You gotta admit, she is smoking hot. What are you doing with that picture? What's the big deal? That's your mother. <laughs> what? I believe you said it's mom. <laughs> Give me that. It's just private. She does look good, though. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God. I'm gonna go. Probably wanna be alone with your thoughts. <laughs> hey, uh, I don't really know if this is your speed, but, um, this photo album's got pictures of Grandma doing aerobics. <laughs> Knock yourself out. 